everybody to another episode of Beat Time, episode 77, lucky number 77. No, 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 no. Lucky number number 13. Eh, same difference, all right? No. Anyway, we got a really good episode for you, or video for you today. Decent amount of leaks, pretty good cards so far. And not too much of news, but still a half good announcement towards the end for future stuff to come. Mm -hmm. But before that, the sets of Butterfly Moonlight and the special deck of Majesty Lord Blaster have dropped in English. So if you're interested in purchasing any of those sets, go to TCG Player through our affiliate link. Purchase through this link helps support the channel so we can make more great videos straight to you. Also, if you want to pick up your, uh, your special little deck box, or if you want to get those Lemmy Rapid players, click down below. Link in the description. With that script fired out of the way, let's go straight into the leaks. Starting us off with, did we have a Sunday? I can't remember. Uh, I don't know. I think this was a Sunday. Regardless, we're back into the whole, hey, starter starts us off. And this time it's Genesis, and oh my god, he's cute. <laughs> you got it, man. You're the Genesis, it's man. It's so adorable. We got uh, Myth uh, Mythic Beast Scroll. Skull. Skull, yes. And uh, he's so cute. It's a grade 3 searcher. It, of course, has the grade 3 searching effect where you get grade 3 or whatever. Um, and it's continuous on Vanguard Rearguard. is during your turn. If cards were soul blasted by your card's cost this turn, it's Beast Power plus 5. Honestly, it's a really good effect on what Genesis wants to do, most at least of Genesis. The Astro Poets. Don't have too many soul blast effects. Himeko does, There's a few. and Fenrir might. Yeah. So overall, I think it hits the point great right on for Genesis. And then a new starter, Incepit Longtail. I mean, it's a starter. Yeah. It does starter things. It's a cute little thing. Yeah. Genesis got in a lot of cute I, stuff. I am a little upset that it didn't bring back Fenrir. I know, right? I was so looking for it. That was such a good staple at the beginning of Fenrir. Like, put the soul next time you soul blast call a unit. It's it like multi tech of Atuazu. Yeah, it's too bad. Yep. So sad. Moving, Moving on. on. Uh, we got some gold paladin leaks comments. We're going to start off this week apparently with whole, uh, there's a card and there's a draw trigger. And this time around we got Knight of Beloved Day, uh, Cut Hurt. <laughs> it is. Cut Hurt. It's, it's Cut Hurt. Alright. <laughs> We're sticking with that, alright? Alright. It's a common 8k grade 2. Continuous regard if you call two more cards from your deck this turn, this unit gets 10k. It's not exactly Unite, but it's basically Unite from deck. I mean, technically you just have to call one card from your deck because it includes himself and you call him from the deck. Yeah. So, so you're, it's still calling two cards though. Yes, yeah, still. I mean, it's an 18k beater, that's about it. Like, people can run it. I prefer other cards though. Mm -hmm. And then the draw trigger that got leaked for gold is our favorite player of the Holy Pipe, Gary. I think he was a stand trigger back in the day. Mm -hmm. I was going to say that. It looks very familiar. I, I saw a post, I believe it was a uh, yellow card. Something on Twitter. Uh, I'm so sorry for missing his name. But regardless, on Twitter, they mentioned like, this you need to stop making staple stand triggers into draw triggers. Like, those mm -hmm. cards were very good back in the day. Why they gotta ruin them. Anyway, since. Uh, yeah, Tuesday stream happened. Tuesday stream happened. Yeah. Oh boy, mm. we got a kind of a. We're not talking about that. Spoiler? We don't talk about that. <laughs> anyway, Tuesday stream happened, and yeah. It, First VR to see, we're going to see the Genesis VR, but we're going to cover the Grade 1 and Grade 2 that came with it. Alex, take it away. Uh, so the first one we got is the Grade 1, uh, B Crux of Stratification, uh, Auto Vanguard, or sorry, Auto Wind. Guardian Circle. Retired from Guardian Circle, you may move it into your soul. I mean. Pretty simple. Yeah. We've seen effects like this before. Then Auto Vanguard, when placed, cost Soul Blast 1 and reveal an Astral Poet or an Astral Deity from your hand. Search your deck for up to one Art Articus of Fervent Will. Reveal it, put it to your hand, and then shuffle your deck. So it searches out the grade two. And yeah. regardless of how you do it, it's going to be in soul eventually. Yes. Why does it need to be in soul, Alex? Well, let's talk about this card. Articus of Fervent Will, grade two. Continuous in soul, it gets grade plus two, so it becomes a grade four in your soul. Mm -hmm. Matters a lot. Auto Vanguard Rearguard. When placed, cost counter bust one and reveal an astral poet or an astral deity from your hand and get an imaginary gift force. Put that marker on your vanguard, and if the grade one is in your soul, you draw a card. So that's why you want the grade one in soul. Mm -hmm. So you can guard with it, go into your soul, or you can ride it. And if you ride it, you can automatically get this into your hand, which also sets you up because it makes a marker on vanguard or rear guard. So it replaces a uh, Mitsuki. Yeah. Which is good. Really and, good. And it draws you cards, so overall that, it's a good card. Not to mention it being a grade four in soul while you uh, makes it to where you soul blast a grade one in this, mm -hmm. you made meet your grade five cost for Uranus. Yes. So. Uranus, not Uranus. 
Moving on. <laughs> oh, come on. That was funny. Give me that. We got the VR, the big boy himself, Holy Heavenly Dragon, Eosanus Dragon. Very nice. Uh, so it has three skills. First one is Continuous Vanguard. If you're, the Vanguard has five or more force markers, your back row becomes an astral plane. Same motion nail. Uh, second ability is Auto Vanguard Rearguard. When placed, cost Kenderboss one. Search your deck for up to one astral deity. Reveal it, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck, and if you put a card from your, into your hand, you get an imaginary gift force and put it on your vanguard. This... Keep going. It, this gets better. Keep going. And then auto guardian circle. When placed, cost, discard an astral poet or an astral deity from your hand, and one of your units cannot be hit until the end of the battle. So it is a perfect guard, and a searcher, and a marker maker on rear guard and vanguard. It's everything the deck needed. It's just bump inconsistency. It's the biggest bump inconsistency we've ever seen in any deck. Literally, I talked to him like weeks before this. And I'm like, what could they give him? They can give him, they need, they need some guard power because they got all this guard. They yeah, can't yeah. guard with all these great threes in their hand. They need a way to get um, Valkyrie on, either from attacking or about adding it to your hand. And a rear guard skill to do something when they're on rear guard. It literally gave me everything I asked for the deck. I love how back in the day when we were talking about it, you were saying something like, oh, maybe they're gonna give us some sort of deep police, like a die liner, and we can guard with our grade threes and Valkyrie on. Yeah. Like, Not quite, but close. I, it literally was everything I asked for in the guard. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> like, look at this way the first ability is uh, obvious. Make yes. a national plane. That's what the deck wants to do. If you exactly. ride this and you can't make a national plane, you're not playing the deck. Exactly. The second ability. It literally just says CB1, make a marker, and it's a Valkyrion. This card can be considered as a Valkyrion in your hand if you have an open CB. Basically, you're running eight Valkyrion. Yeah. Or if you're running four. Well, yeah. depending on the number of Valkyrion plus the number of this, that's how many Valkyrion yes. you're running. In the gameplay we showed, he ran three and four of this, so technically he had access to seven Valkyrions in deck. And also, it counts as an extra perfect guard. So you have eight perfect guards in deck. If you're running perfect guards, correct? Yes. Granted, when the Chris Sentinel comes out, 16 crit, man, 16 crit. You're not wrong. It's probably going to happen. <laughs> uh, not to mention some of the people that mentioned in the comments. Yes, we know uh, Force 2 is a decent viable option. Mm -hmm. I still think it's not that better than Force 1 in my personal mm -hmm. opinion, but I can see the potential. I say if you're going first, mm -hmm. I can see the potential for it. If you're going second, your opponent has such an advantage that you need the power. It needs still playtesting. Yes. But both versions are valid. It literally, you want three attacks that are over 50 to 70, and then depending on the drive checks, criticals are dangerous. Mm -hmm. Or you want guaranteed two critical, two 70k attackers, but then your Vanguard is 13k if you don't put triggers on it, mm -hmm. which is easy to guard. Yeah. I, that's my biggest gripe. Like the Vanguard is then easy to guard. You know, throw one card in front of it, and you just have to worry about the 70ks twice instead of three big attackers. Yeah. It's here and there, it needs testing. Personally, I still believe Force One strong. Regardless, this is everything a deck needed, and it is so consistent that it's not even fun. Yep. Anyway, that's it for that. Moving on to other cards, like for example, Angel Feather with their common mm -hmm. uh, draw trigger. We got Disinfect Angel. It's a simple card that does a lot. It's auto rigor when placed, put a uh, unit card from your hand into your damage zone, and put a face-up card from your damage zone into your hand. We already seen this card effect in a Grave 1 version from the first set. Mm -hmm. That CB1 put any card into your hand and put a card from, uh, uh, from your damage into your hand and put a normally uh, uh, a unit card from your hand into your damage. So it didn't matter, you just had to have an open uh, card to CB and you could put that card back and put a card back and you didn't actually CB. Mm -hmm. This just does it without the whole CB shenanigan in between. Mm -hmm. So it's the same card, it's just a freer card. That way if you... Uh, no, you just still need the face-up card. Like, it doesn't really matter. Both do the same exact thing. If you don't have any uh, face-up damage, you can't do them. And if you have face-up damage, both do the same thing. I think this one's pretty good because you do, the cost is to put a card from your hand into your damage. So you can put the card from your hand and get it back. So it can proc effects to say if a card is put into your damage zone. I mean, the same thing can be said about the other one. The one I don't think, I believe, fetches it first and that puts a card to you into your damage zone. But yep. it, it, you can literally fetch and put the back the same card. But it's I think, the same thing. But I think it required a CV, so you still had to have an existing damage. Well, yeah, same thing with this. This only t uh... You don't have to have existing damage. Oh, this yeah, you're correct. Yeah, so this one, if your opponent has a damage denied, you can still do the effect. You're not wrong. So in that aspect, honestly, this one is just a better, more consistent version of the other one. Yes. So the other one is just going to plummet and not exist anymore. Speaking of that, hey, look, it's a stain trigger. Whoops, no, wait, sorry, draw trigger. Uh, surgical, uh, surgery Angel. 
You know, the multi-attack and stender back in, uh, back in the day that had the rescue ability. Yeah. Back to, you know, another unit. Yep. Anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on. We got some surprise leaks. They did not, were not cars of the days. But just, you know, kind of got shown. Yep. Alex, take it away. So, the Regalia twins are back. Mm -hmm. The first one we're going to start with is Cosmic Regalia CEO Yggersil. Big. The Grey Three. Um, continuous Vanguard. Rearguard. Oh. It's Vanguard Rearguard. Oh, Vanguard Rearguard. That's been mistyped on the yeah. translation. All of your units with Divine Gauge get boost, and if this unit is on your Vanguard, those units cannot be chosen by your opponent's card decks. Uh, there is an errata on this. We're going to talk about it once he finishes the effect. Yes. And then Act Vanguard Rearguard once per turn. Cost Counterbust one. Search your deck for up to one Regalia of Fate Norn. Call it to Rearguard. Um, shuffle your deck. Choose two of your rear guards, and the, you may put a card from your soul face down as a divine gauge for one each of those units. This is divine gauge support. Get your armor Tarasus. Oh wait, you already did. Yeah. Let's talk about Norn before we talk about the Arata. Yes. The Arata. So Regalia Fate Norn is a grade two. Act Vanguard Rear Guard once per turn. Cost Canterbust one. Draw a card. Choose up to one of your rear guards, and you may put a card from your soul face down as a uh, divine gauge on that unit. And if you do, you still charge two. Not too bad. And then auto rearguard. At the end of the battle, that it boosted a unit with a Gregalian as card name. Cost. Discard a card from your hand and discard, uh, dis discard one of this unit's uh, divine gauges. Stand that, un the, that unit and this unit uh, and that and this unit boosted. And until the end of turn, that unit gets power plus 10,000 and minus one drive. So stand the unit that this unit boosted. Yes, That's sir. how it's worded. Yes, sorry. <laughs> so basically it can restand. And if the CEO is on, grade th on Vanguard, it can stand the Vanguard and the Vanguard can swing again. That's what I guess this is made of. Now the quick errata on the CEO skill, uh, it is specifically says, and if, the, and if your opponent, uh, uh, if this unit is on Vanguard and it is your opponent's turn, those rear guards, cannot be affected by anything of your opponent's cards. This is basically, and I love how someone in our Discord pointed it out, Omega Resist. Yes. Nothing's touching this. There is not one card in this game, from my experience, that can touch this. This goes around, you can't even touch the circle because that's still an opponent's card effect is affecting the circle that's affecting. Uh, those units. So it can't affect the circle. You cannot affect the unit. Cannot be affected by anything of your opponent's cards. The robot. card is affecting the circle that's affecting. It's a, I think it's property or transit, transitivity. I'm, I'm almost halfway sure. But I, but for instance, uh, say you go get Blade Master, they can't board wipe your board no. because it literally they cannot be affected. Exactly. The circle thing I'm gonna retract a little bit. I'm not 100% sure, so that needs to a little bit looking in. Like wording in Vanguard, it needs to be very specific when it comes to this because. One word difference can mean a lot, we, as we found mm -hmm. out. But yeah, honestly, and this does deserve it, not too shabby. Yeah, not too shabby. You get a, you know, a re-standing Vanguard with a boosting grade two. You can have a re-standing Vanguard. You can, if you have, look, like the grade two can boost itself and stand itself. Mm -hmm. uh, two copies in the same row. But regardless, if you have a board full of regalia, in all technicality, you have six attacks. Two of which are Vanguard. Granted, you gotta ditch three cards and get some rid of some divine gauges, but you can technically get three to six attacks in a turn. I find it better with uh, Ar Artemis on the Vanguard. That divine gauge gains extra eight, eight to five k. Yeah. Tomorrow we're gonna showcase the game between this and another leak that we're gonna cover, and you guys can see for yourself how good this is. Mm -hmm. Anyway, moving on. Uh, some more Genesis leaks. So we got a great two common uh, falling star sorcerer. Vahin. 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 Uh, auto rear guard. When placed, cost. Discard a card from your hand. Choose a normal unit from your soul and return it to your hand. So it's a fix. Yeah. I mean, this is, honestly, if you're really in a pinch and you accidentally soul charge a grade three, this is the way you get grade three from your soul. I mean, it's rear guard only. But yes. you need another grade two to ride. Yes, but. but you're not it. wrong. It, li it literally just goes, okay, my soul is another resource. So anything in my soul can be potentially in my hand and I can use it. That's about what it is. Yeah, it's dark regular sometimes wish it had that kind of effect. No, 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 no. And then, of course, the draw trigger is Witch of White Emperor Premisa? Presimo. Presimo. Uh, I mean, it's a draw trigger. What do you want? 
I'm surprised they didn't make it uh, the dragon that reset your deck from G. Nah. Since they're reset doing all these. Uh, Man, I do miss great, those cards. You, since they're making all these. Right, the Genesis like, isn't uh, soul charging and soul blasting anymore, so do they, they don't need a dragon effect like that anymore. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, moving on, we got some Narakami with the two leagues and a draw trigger. Yep. So grade two, Lightning Cannon Eradicator, Corson. Uh, Corson. Uh, continuous Vanguard Rear Guard during your turn. If you have Lightning Rifle Eradicator Oban in your same column as this unit, it gets power plus three. And then uh, twelve. Yes. And then Auto Vanguard Rear Guard at the end of the battle that it attacked while boosted by that card. Cost Counterblast one. Bind all of your Rear Guards in the same column as this unit. Draw two cards. Draw two. Hmm. I wonder what the grade one then does. Uh, so Lightning Rifle Eradicator Oban. Uh, continuous rear guard during your turn. If you have the grade two, the same column as this unit, it gets power plus three, so it becomes an eleven game. Mm -hmm. and then auto rear guard when placed. If you have the grade uh, grade two in the same column as this unit, counter charge one. So the way you want to do this is you call the grade two down. Mm -hmm. You call the grade one down and make a CB available for the grade two. Yep. Now this column is sitting at a nice twenty three on its own. Yep. If you're playing Vanquisher, for example, now it's thirty three, so that's magic numbers right there. Mm -hmm. And not only that, like at the end of the battle that the grade two attacks, you CB the uh, damage you just flipped up, you kill everything in the same column, including these two, and you draw two cards to replace them. Yep. I mean, honestly, it's a very balanced effect. It just says goodbye board. I mean, it'd be great if the fact that it didn't require each other. That you still, I mean, yeah. you still have the R&D of having both on the yep. board at the same time. But if you do get it, mm -hmm. it goes around resist. Value town. Anyway, <laughs> one more. Oh, and Dragon Dancer Vivian. I got her back. God, I just realized that I was a stand, that was a stand trigger. Yeah, she was a stand trigger. Back as a great as a draw trigger. Anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. We got the Friday stream. Yep. Everybody knew about it. Bluish flames are black. Back. They're not blue. <laughs> you're not wrong. And they're very interesting. This time around, the great two is the triple rare, and the great two is Oath Liberator Aglave. I think I said that right. Aglave, yes. Anyway. He, he has two abilities. One is Auto Vanguard. When placed, Cannabis one looking three cards on top of your deck. Call up to one card from among them to rear guard and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. So ye old gold paladin effects. Only Vanguard is kind of sad. Yeah, because the original was the Vanguard rear guard, so. But it makes the balance in the nine days. Well, he has another skill that kind of makes up for it. Yep. Auto rear guard when it attacks. Put another rear guard into your soul. This unit gets 10 k until the end of the battle, and at the end of the battle, return this unit to your hand. Honestly, a really good effect. On mm -hmm. an Excel circle, it becomes 24. It puts stuff into soul, so you bumping your soul charge uh, or soul blast abilities like Bin Drain and the Grade 1 that we saw last week. Mm -hmm. And it's just another card back into your hand, so you're not wasting too many resources. Yeah. All around, a really good card. And you don't even have to worry about RNG of seeing it and using it, because that's why we got the Grade 3 Bluish Flame Liberator Percival. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, has Excel marker. But it has also two abilities. Continuous Vanguard, all of your units on additional rear guard get 5k. Not too big of an effect, but also not bad. Hey, look, there's no downside of going Force 2. Go to Force 1. Or Excel 1. You're not wrong. This basically makes four, uh, Excel 2s, Excel 1s with the extra draw. Mm -hmm. But the other ability is why you want to run it, honestly. It has Auto Vanguard Rear Guard when placed. If your Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, Canter Bus 1, discard a card from your hand and get an imaginary gift Excel. Search your deck or drop zone for up to one Oath Liberator Aglavale, call it the rear guard, and if you search your deck, shuffle your deck. This ability may only be used by a card with a same card name once a turn. I'm, I'm pretty sure by Overdress they're gonna make a symbol that's a hard once per turn. Yeah. This last bit of text is getting really annoying it's a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, it's an Excel marker maker on rear guard. You get a Genesis one, we get an Excel one. Yep. I'm sorry, a Force one. Regardless, you basically make an, uh, Excel marker by ditching a card in CB, and if you go Excel 2, you're basically getting that card back. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, you know, it's if, an Excel marker that's more attacks. And if you think about it, Aglavel can, if this is on rear guard, Aglavel can put him into the soul mm -hmm. and bounce himself back, so you're actually adding another card to your Ooh, hand. Ooh, I don't know how that would work. I don't think it can work because it's an act ability, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in, uh, in Ezel terms. Like Ezel wants grade threes and soul. I think yeah. it needs specifically Ezel. Pe so. People were talking about how this can allow you to get into uh, what's his name, the one that needs two grade threes and soul. Mm -hmm. You can just do it on first ride, technically. Mm, you can't. 
because it need it, well, you need to activate the act ability of having two grade threes oh, of salt. Okay. It does get you there faster if you don't have the perfect ride chain, but you still need to get it's not it's an one turn faster mm. maybe. I mean, you could just throw Agobel down and Superior call the grade the grade three and sub it in the You're not wrong. That could happen. Like you need to call the Agobel through Vanguard ability. You have a second Agobel. Or no, you, no, yeah, you have to have a second aggro veil and the grade three in hand, and, but no, you have to call the grade three by effect and call two aggro veils, one on Vanguard, that call the grade three, then put that grade three into your soul, and then ref you can Or you can just ride the grade two aggro veil off the top three, get the grade three. And then how do you put it in a soul? Use the, another aggro veil. What did I just say? <laughs> Literally, you said word by word what I just said. Right. Anyway, <laughs> really good effects. In all honesty, until we see Gurgle it, these effects work really beautifully with Aggravain. Yeah. Bump the soul, bring back the hand, and still got all the call effects, even more call effects now that you have an extra circle to call to. And it calls it to it, it couldn't to it. So. Not to mention, because of its Vanguard ability of the grade two, mm -hmm. Dendrain has more targets. The grade one that when it's called by ability and goes to soul and calls the top card has more targets. Mm -hmm. Like all over the place, you're doing aggravate better like this man you'll see tomorrow got the 12. spoilers um, second grade three spoilers <laughs> but yeah very 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 good cards mm -hmm. anyway that was it for all the leaks not honestly not too shabby it was really good week mm -hmm. now before we go into the next one we do want to mention tuesday stream did announce girl it is coming next tuesday or this upcoming tuesday yep. more specifically and then for Friday stream of next week, we're getting Eradicator Descendant. Ooh. The boy is back. Yeah. So the question is going to be, is Descendant going to be, like we saw the Regalia and the uh, Bluish Flame, a two-card combo, or is it going to be more cards, you know, four, three, whatever? Well, he's always been just himself and just restands with an extra crit. So, we'll see how they treat it. I mean, looking at this way, like, it's hard to put the Regalia and Bluish Flame into the budget deck category like uh, Seven Seas, like uh, Blau, mm -hmm. and all those. Because all those cards had like four cards when they leaked. This is a two-card combo in most, and they're very generic, can be put in anything. Like the CEO and uh, the Regalia support. It's a two-card combo that can be put in, like, he can play it in Astral Poets, and now he has a column that basically swings twice. Mm -hmm. Just throw all my all my uh, triggers from all the ast uh, astral poets and astral deities onto it. Oh, yeah. Just keep restanding it. Yeah, not wrong. And he, the same thing can be said in Fenrir. Like Fenrir can do whatever he wants. You still have those two in a column. You can you can put those two in a column, and now the column has basically a two swinger. It's mm -hmm. honestly not bad. It can be spliced in anything. Same thing with bluish. You can throw it in Azul, like we said. You can throw it in Aggravain, and possibly Gurgoyne as well. Like it's a rare good effect to make an Excel marker and put another unit on the board. Mm -hmm. Like, it's honestly really good card effects that are just generic and work everywhere. It's really hard to say they're their own decks. They can't, they honestly cannot be put in their own decks. You can't make a deck around this and be decently viable. Like, what's your backup V3? What's your game plan? Yeah. Like, Bluish Flame, sure, 5k to the Excel markers, but unless you have multiples on the board, you're really not doing much other than other gold paladins are. Yeah. Same thing with Gale. Yeah, sure, you can put it on Vanguard and you have two Vanguard swings. What's your other game plan? Yeah. Pretty much. We'll see. We'll see if um, or, uh, Descendant or uh, No Cielo follows the same suit. You're not wrong. All right. Now, with that segment out of the way, let's start talking a little bit about what news you know, dropped by. There's a decent amount, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, do we cover that? We covered that. Yeah, we covered that. Anyway, first things first. No, oh, we already covered that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Honda. Right there. There it is. Some more Bermuda set got shown. Yep. We know of three cards that are guaranteed, and we got their arts right here. It's from the same magazine that showed us the Regalia cards. So I believe it's going from left to right. Yep. We got Cho de debut stage Tirua. Uh, yep. Honestly, not bad. Velvet Voice Reindeer. The reindeers are back. Mm -hmm. And Loving Sister Mir. Which is a duo card. Yep. Uh, granted, it doesn't say, didn't they usually say duo in their names? Yes, so they're not doing duo. So they're doing not Mir. doing duo. I think, what, was Rhea also confirmed in this set, or was I it just me? I have no idea. Anyway, you're excited for Reindeer? You used to have it back in the day. Reindeer is actually interesting. Also, so is uh, Trivia. Mm -hmm. The Shushu, whatever. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. I mean, Shushu was their last ditch effect of making a trial deck gimmick 
I don't know what they were trying. Anyway, there was one more card that got leaked. Uh, Ellie! The perfect card. Yep, he's back. Yep. Um, that hard though. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry, why that cre V crease? That, that very, very, very misleading when you quickly glanced. Mm -hmm. And then we got some more coming down the road. Oh, Olivia SP! Yep, this is the uh, swim, the Olivia Oceanside B shorts. It is interesting. I believe they're doing this on the uh, Southern Globe because we're getting this is set in December, January, and they're in swimsuits. So uh, uh, unless they're in Australia, it ain't that hot Regardless, out. Regardless, you're getting swimsuit waifus. And I was trying to make a very smart joke, uh, joke and you just ruined it. Don't ruin everything. Yes, yes you do actually. <laughs> anyway, more information on the Daigo set. No picture to support it, maybe. Mm. Maybe. Wait, 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 oh, wait, 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 oh. wait, wait, wait. Yep. Well, I'll put the last picture again. Anyway, uh, just new information here. Apparently, uh, Saint Chigar will have powerful multi-attacks. Wixton will power up his comrade. And Basil, Basil, mm -hmm. will have access to search and power up. So we got a little bit of an idea what this deck is already going to do. It's a bunch of big beefy boys that are going to turn sideways. It's going to be very interesting whenever this comes out. I believe it's going to only work with itself, but if Sanctuary Guard in any way, shape or form can do his multi-attack while having a different banger, let's say um, Majesty, mm. that is going to get very stupid very fast. I don't believe it's going to happen, but it's Bushy we're talking about. We shall see. Not wrong. Um, and I believe, for the most part, that's it. A little more, more there was an errata update on Dulcedge, the grade two. Mm -hmm. So his effect went from, you know, whenever he stands by an ability, due to effects below the, on the number of stand this turn, to when the stand by a card's effect, activate the following effects below based on the number of times this unit stand by card's effect this turn. So you're not gonna lose your First 10k if this is already on rear guard and you go into stand phase. So you're all good, all three effects are gonna activate in sequence, so yay. Now, I mean, it's a legit fix. Yeah. Like, skipping that first 10k was, mm. Yeah, it made you have to really think about how to play it. Yep, and then the last bit of news we got, shops in English. This is very important for English. Shops in English got their new sets of promos. And I forgot the name, so I'm just gonna pop the cards here. Pop, pop. It's the Kagura promo, the dra Dragon Dancer, that boosts and draws, and it's a really good card for, honestly, Blade Master and any other deck you wanna play. Mm -hmm. And we also got the Link Joker promo, it seems, that's a Counter Charger Soul Charger, if I remember correctly. Honestly, good promos that we wanted in English, so this is, bodes well for more promos co to come. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Hopefully we can, we can finally get some prop, like, a lot of these promos that we've been I mean, seeing a lot of people in Nubatama are hoping we get uh, Tobi Itachi because uh, uh, that's a really good promo for Nubas. Yeah. Um, let's see, is there any other promos right? Okay, there's a Genesis promo that we're going to be showcasing tomorrow. I really hope that comes out in English because it's a really good card. Uh, there's the Murakumo and yes. the Claret promo. Yep. And also the Tri 3 promos. I don't think we've gotten those yet. Nope. And the other Claret promo. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of good promos that are becoming very good staples in decks right now, and it'd be too a shame if we didn't get them in English. Mm -hmm. So here's the hoping. Um, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything else. You got mm -hmm. anything else to say? Uh, I'm good. All right, before we close it up, real quick half announcement, as we probably mentioned in the last one, I believe, we're getting a case of Butterfly Moonlight, and we're gonna be doing a nice case opening live stream with a Q&A part. So that's going to be happening soon. We're going to post an official video announcement when that is, sometime mm. next week, hopefully. And then, you know, when that happens, come join us, hang out, talk, and watch us lose our shit if we pull anything good. Mm -hmm. And so far, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. This was episode 77, lucky number 77. Don't um, you dare say it. It's 13. Don't, mm, <laughs> no violence. You too. Anyway, if you like the video, please leave a like, share it with your friends, and comment down below what you think we might pull on the case opening. Other than that, if you like what we do, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell to get notified. Maybe you can join us on Facebook and follow us on Discord. Oh, it's actually the other way around. Follow us on Facebook, join us on Discord. Man, that was weird. Anywho, with that being said, I've been Phil. This is Alex. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Woo!
what, oh, how did I mix up Facebook and Discord this time around? Like, so, thumbnail. Thumbnail. 